a European denim brand on the channel tonight and its companion denim uh, from over in Barcelona formed in 2013. I've been following them for a few years on Instagram. I really like what they do. Um, they reached out to me uh, wanting to share some upgrades they'd done to their webpage and I was really keen to work with them. Um, so what they've done to their webpage is they've improved their ordering uh, mechanism. Uh, so the unique selling point of Companion Denim is that they'll make you your jeans to your design. The fabrics, the rivets, the pocket bags, even the cut. So they've got some pre-made sort of cuts to select from or you can go completely custom and measure up your own preferred uh, model either based on an existing pair of jeans that you have or anything else. So presented with that opportunity, didn't really want to turn it down. I've featured quite a few pairs of jeans on my channel over the years. Um, a few European brands, like I've got a couple of pairs from Hyatt, uh, Benzac, we've got buckets of Japanese stuff, we've got um, Momotaro with a nice uh, custom pocket branding there, we've got Tanuki, we've got Samurai, uh, unbranded, really good price point on those, didn't like the, uh, the pocket bags or the front rise on those but really nice jeans. But yeah, so buckets and buckets of denim on the channel. So lots of stuff to consider in selecting my pair. Over here we've got something that informed my choice. So we've got the wonderful heavy denim of Ironheart. So we've got 21 ounce there. 25 ounce, incredibly heavy, insanely heavy. And then some nice uh, medium weight sort of duck canvas there. And we've also got the wonderfully uh, woven Oni models. And it was sort of a hybrid between these two stacks which informed the build. So what I've gone for is that I'd like to reproduce these Oni uh, 689s. Really, really nice cut. Uh, very slim of legs, so a really uh, tight cuff, below seven inches I think it is on the cuff and a really surprisingly short inseam on these. So these are just above 31 inches on the inseam. And if you're a guy like me who's Mr. Average and into cuffing, um, then you know, you'd probably be thinking 33, 34 and then cuff them up. But I found these to work really nicely. So if you don't cuff them, they meet your shoe comfortably. And if you do cuff them with a boot, they show off your boot really nicely. So I thought the leg in these was superb really like the uh, the 21 ounce denim on the iron hearts maybe not wanting to go quite that heavy so with this build we're going to go for an 18 ounce denim um, so what we'll do is we'll go through the measuring process to get the cut of the onis right and then we'll select our denim and uh, then we'll do a bit of a time warp and hopefully the, uh, the jeans will turn up. Just coming some measurements at the waist. We've got 17 and a half, so 45 inch waist. The front rise was 10 and a half. The rear rise came in at about 16. The thigh was 12 and three quarters. The knee measured three, 13 inches down, came in at around eight and one eighth. That nice tight cuff is six and three quarters. And then the in inseam, about 31 and a quarter inches. So just looking at the webpage here, go to the full custom options, does give you a selection of cuts that you can choose from but we're going to go for the full configuration so on the waist get a trim off half an inch there they'll stretch out don't want to go for a full inch want to be comfortable straight away the front rise will keep true the back rise equally off camera we grabbed a hip measurement so that's taken from six inches down from the waistband 
the inseam the thigh true to size the knee just going to take it down to 8 inches so a little bit of a shaving off there because that's stretched out somewhat and the cuff true to size as well so we'll save that there it is on the right hand side double check actually the next screen when we move on we'll, we'll allow us to check again so moving on to the selection of denims lots to choose from here I generally like a bit of texture, so that sort of slubby uh, weave that we've seen on Samurai and Oni before. But I'm really going for a bit of weight here. I want the 18 amps. So there's a half dozen heavy denims there. Up there at the top left, got 18 amps, super rough and slubby, Japanese. Sounds right up my street. So the next thing to pick is the pocket lining. Lots to choose from here. I'd normally have gone for something quite heavy. But I'm thinking comfortable. And what we've got down here at the bottom is some flannel liners, which I think will come out super soft. I don't carry much in my pockets, so they don't need to be strong. I think that'll be quite a nice, comfortable thing to live with. Lots of different threads. Pretty traditional on thread, I think. It'd either be sort of completely tonal or a, a gold colour, so I'm going to go for tobacco brown. And then on to the styling options. I'm going to go freestyle. Now, I think these ones at the top are the default selection, so I'm going to turn off a few of those and choose them um, later on in the process. So, don't really need the key hanger loop. Or the peekaboo salvage. I think that's going to be selected later on, so that's going to be good. Everything else, I think, is as we want it. So now we're going to go on and pick the options that we're after. Don't really want a lined waistband. The fly. I quite like that fancy one. I don't normally want loads of details on my jeans, but it's nice to have a little something tucked away. That's quite nice. The coin pocket options. I don't think we need to select those. Nice bit of uh, tonal stitching on the back pocket. The raised belt loop with cotton tape inserted. I think I've had that on Samurai, je samurai jeans. Just makes them uh, fade very, very strongly, sort of on ridge. Lots and lots of fancy details here. It's a pretty heritage styling sort of design cues. I think I want something, but something quite subtle. So that pointy pocket stitch. That's quite nice. That reminds me of Stevenson jeans. A little bit of flair there, so we'll have that. And then moving on to the hardware, I'll go for something fairly standard, the antique copper. Be nice if you could get the matching set just with one press, but it doesn't take too long to select all the components. And finally, the back patch. I'll be wearing these with um, a belt, so a nice thin woven cotton, I think is what we want. And then we move on to finalise the order, add to cart. So I don't know if you picked up my obvious mistake there, I put 44 and a half inches on the waist instead of 34 and a half. Um, the guys at Companion picked that up straight away during the ordering process. Um, whilst they will build exactly the jeans you want, 
Um, they're also there to get things right for you and make sure you get that good experience. So that was done. I thought it was just useful just to quickly have a look at the other option for building your custom jeans here. And you don't need to do the full uh, custom build with uh, eight measurements. You can go for one of their um, pre-selected models. So you've got the Slimmer Hug, the uh, Joel Slim, Taper Jam, uh, with a few examples of how they look on. And uh, yeah, you can pick one of these. I'll go with the Slimmer Hug, which is probably kind of my sort of fit. And go on to the next screen. You can select your waist size and your inseam length. You can also pay for a bit more customization options down here. And then you'll just be running off a, a sizing chart, which most of us will find a bit more familiar. So if we just come down to the, the model you've picked, you'll find a sizing chart so you can understand exactly how that's going to fit you. And then as you move on, you'll find all the normal custom options and you can build your jeans just as you like. So my custom made companion jeans have arrived. Um, took about six weeks. Uh, I did order them just prior to Christmas. so. Obviously a busy time of year and uh, some national holidays and so forth. Beautifully packaged as you'd expect. And if we open them up, you'll see we've got a nice postcard. And the most important thing, the jeans themselves. So these are absolutely perfect. Really, really nicely built. Um, very, very uh, good uh, reproduction of the uh, cut of the Onis. I'll cut in a quick shot of them overlaid. Absolutely perfect. Um, wearing them need a bit of breaking in, but they're going to be absolutely perfect. So looking at the jeans, looking at the details, obviously we've got the nice uh, hang tags. The info about their values and uh, production techniques and uh, yeah exactly as I'd hoped and as I designed so we'll go have a quick look over the actual features as they've been built um, and then we'll wrap up so first of all we've got this wonderful uh, 18 ounce uh, slubby Japanese uh, denim just very very gentle little knots and so forth in the fabric uh, I've seen slubbier, um, but this is lovely, lovely denim. So sort of things like Oni are incredibly slubby, um, but they also have a, a loose weave. This is very much tighter weave. So red line salvage. Very, very neat uh, stitching on the cuff, the chain stitch there. I imagine we'll look at the stitching throughout and I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised at the quality of these. Um, on the rear, nice uh, tonal stitch on the pocket. They call that a, a nerve stitch. And it's just gonna, I think, pop as the rest of the denim around it fades. So that's a, I imagine a uh, sort of indigo uh, nylon thread. So that won't fade, it'll just pop out as time goes on. The pockets are, Nicely lined, perfect stitching, little bar tack there, and you can see that on the inside, so it's not uh, riveted pockets, but just those bar stitches there. Nice yoke detail with the uh, central belt loop just swung off the side there, quite a nice little detail. A fabric patch which I thought partly because it was a little bit different to what you normally find but also because I generally wear jeans with a belt uh, the leather patches are often a bit of a pain um, so just having something very very low profile was quite appealing so just swinging them around to the front some really extremely nice details here um, as you can pick yourself, but 
really very pleased with some of the choices I've made. Um, nice little companion fabric tab there. On the pockets, we've obviously got the fifth pocket with the indigo detail there. Could have had a little peekaboo flag out the side, but chose not to. And um, the fifth pocket uh, mirrors the shape of the pockets at the rear. I do always quite enjoy it when uh, manufacturers do that. Um, the antiqued um, hardware. And one of my favourite details on this, something you can choose on any of your jeans from Companion, just this little um, pointy pocket stitch, as they call it. I call this a, a sort of a, a bit of a Western flourish. Very, very subtle. Um, but it's these sort of details which really sort of make me smile. Again, another detail which only you as the wearer of the jeans will really enjoy, but the, the fly has been created in a single part, single piece, uh, selvage edge throughout, and just, I really like the fact this is one piece because sometimes I find with the, uh, the construction of denim or construction of jeans, you just get a big load of bunching as things are sort of stitched together just at the bottom of the fly. I think this is much, much more elegant. And then you've got this amazing hand applied arc detail along here. So I can't imagine this is, uh, you can't automate this, it's just beautifully done by hand. Nice bit of detailing. Obviously you've got the companion denim uh, hardware. Very, very nicely finished on the inside. Stitching is exceptionally well done throughout. And then on the inside of the pockets, you've got this lovely, soft uh, flannel material. I don't carry much in my pockets. I don't need them to be massively wear hard wearing. I do want a bit of comfort. So uh, sometimes you can get incredibly strong pocket bags, uh, but you know, they don't make it any more comfortable. These are super soft, like pajama material. Really, very nice. Um, so yeah, absolutely superb detailing throughout. Uh, just going down the leg, obviously got cuffs at the bottom. Uh, the cuffs of these uh, allow me to wear them cuffed and uncuffed. Uh, they're they're a little shorter than my normal sort of jeans. Uh, so these are 31 and a half inch or 31 and a quarter inch leg. Uh, which gives me some nice options. So, yeah, exceptionally well made. And, uh, yeah, really can't see anything that I'd want to do differently. Happy with the choices I've made. And the uh, the construction and manufacturing is absolutely spot on. Well, that brings us to the end of the review. Um, absolutely thrilled with these jeans from Companion. I feel very lucky to have been able to work with them on these. And they've done an absolutely fantastic job of building some brilliant jeans. Um, really, really bang on in terms of uh, working with the measurements that I provided. Really good replication of the fit that I like so much on those Onis and the detailing uh, and options, absolutely amazing. So I'll do some follow-up videos on these. They're gonna take a little bit of breaking in, 18 ounce denim, of course, and uh, quite starchy. So it's gonna take a little while to get those broken in nicely. Uh, but I'll do some follow-ups on that. If you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Lots of denim uh, from around the world. Uh, heritage footwear, everyday carry, that sort of stuff. Do check it out. We might share some other common interests. If you found that video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've used Companion Denim or had any of the jeans or have an opinion on uh, custom-built jeans or something else I should look at, uh, do chuck it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, that's just about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.